Hello everyone, my name is Shanaz and I welcome you all to my channel Nurses, the heart of healthcare. Keep learning, keep growing. I dedicate this channel to the backbone of healthcare, the heart and soul of healthcare, nurses all around the globe for their incredible work. Hats off to all you guys. In this video, we are going to discuss five greatest inventions ever in the emergency department. Yes, which has changed the process of diagnosis and treatment which helps the medical professionals to you know diagnose early to prevent complications and in turn to save the life of a patient by saving time the precious time which is very important in case of emergency in case of life-threatening situations yes so there are many such inventions you know that science and technology has improved a lot and there are many such inventions which has changed the face of medicine okay so five such inventions in the emergency department which are very crucial okay incredible awesome that we are going to discuss in this video so before moving ahead i would really uh, appreciate that if you are new to my channel please subscribe my channel and i request all my lovely viewers that please like and share my videos if you find the content helpful okay so let's see one by one the first invention okay it's like a small quiz also for you guys okay so five inventions we are going to discuss five questions for you guys okay so let's see how much you can answer correctly okay the first invention that we are going to discuss is who invented ecg electrocardiography yes as we all know that ecg continues to be one of the most commonly used tests in the modern medicine yes the moment we receive a patient in emergency department with complaints of chest pain the first and foremost thing that we are going to do is we'll connect the patient to the cardiac monitor and we'll perform 12 lead ecg and 12 lead ecg machine is standard today which measures the heart's electrical signals from 12 different angles. Yes, so that is uh, very important to diagnose whether the patient is suffering from an MI, okay, what type of MI and, uh, you know, uh, so that we can diagnose it early, okay, and treat it and prevent complications or any other cardiac abnormality. Yes, so it's very important to a lead ECG. So who is that great person who invented this, which has, you know, made our diagnosis process very easy these days can you tell me guys it is Willem Anthoven okay Willem Anthoven he found that the beat and he built a machine that could measure the electrical current a heart creates and the machine that he built you know it was uh, 600 pounds okay we all very very well know guys that you know when the things are invented initially okay by a particular scientist or a doctor or a, a biomedical engineer they are like you know their size and their shape and everything that will be quite different from the time that you're seeing it now yes so it it usually get evolved it usually get modified okay so when Willem Anthoven invented the ECG machine, it was like this, yes, it was uh, huge and it was, you know, around 600 pounds, okay, not as handy and as portable as you're seeing it today, but he is the one who invented it, okay, he was a Dutch medical doctor and physiologist and he invented the first practical electrocardiograph, okay, in 1895 and he is also known for clinical cardiography and for Anthoven's triangle, you I think when you have uh, learned about ECG, you will come across this Anthoven triangle, yes. So, he is well known for this and he also received a Nobel Prize for his great work in medicine. So, guys, next time when you are using an ECG machine, yes, to take an ECG, please be thankful to this great guy, Willem Anthoven, for inventing such a wonderful machine, which is super helpful to all of us in emergency department okay so thank you so much Willem Anthoven the next invention that we are going to discuss is who invented stethoscope the word stethoscope stethos means chest and scopy means like explore or examination who is the person who invented it? stethoscope as we all know that it is very essential part of you know doctor's uniform not only doctor's uniform you will see this tool hanging around the neck of the doctors nurses and uh, uh, EMT technicians yes it's a very common tool yes without this the examination cannot be done so easily you know for almost we, uh, this tool help us to listen to the heart sounds listen to the uh, lung sounds yes uh, listen like you know to confirm the ET tube to confirm the what we say uh, Riles tube yes and to listen to various other sounds in the body 
Stethoscope is a very important tool. Yes. So, who is the person who invented it? Come on guys, answer. Who is the person who invented it? It is Rene Theophil Hyacinth Lenach. Okay, quite. Uh, is it difficult to pronounce? Rene Theophil Hyacinth Lenach. Okay, he was a French physician who invented stethoscope. Rene Lenach. You know guys, initially when they have to, I mean when stethoscope wasn't there, uh, when they want to listen to the patient's breath sounds and heart sounds, they used to listen it this way, by keeping their ear on the patient's chest. Yes, but uh, Rene Lenach, he was, uh, you know, he didn't find it good to keep his ear on the, you know, he wanted to avoid to keep his ear on the chest of a female patient to listen to the sounds. Then what he did is that he had, he need to find some way, right, to solve this problem and uh, to make the diagnosis. So what he did is, he avoid putting his ear on a female patient's chest in order to hear her uh, heart sounds and what he, then he created the first version of the stethoscope by rolling up a paper tube and using it as a funnel. And uh, by this he not only solved the problem of uh, to avoid his uh, keeping his ear on the female's chest but also he realized that it amplified the sounds in the woman's chest and using this new instrument he investigated the sounds made by the heart by the lungs and he determined his diagnosis were supportive by the observations made during autopsies okay so he is the person rene lenick okay so he is the one who invented stethoscope initially it was not the way as you're seeing it today it was like this somewhat like this okay but then it got modified yes and you're finding it very handy and you know cute and good looking now okay so initially it was like this when he created it okay so he is the first person who invented stethoscope so next time guys whenever you're using stethoscope for your diagnosis purpose please be thankful to rene lenick the next very crucial info uh, what we say invention of emergency department is defibrillator yes defibrillator a device that delivers electric shock to the heart and which can use which is used in the emergency uh, which is used as an emergency treatment for cardiac arrhythmias yes in cardiac arrhythmias you will see that heart is fibrillating and you will defibrillate it using defibrillator okay so in other words you can say that it is a life saving machine yes it is a life saving machine which is used both for defibrillation as well as uh, cardio version okay so who is the person who is that great person who invented it so it is, you know the answer guys, William Coven Hoven, okay, he was an electrical engineer and he studied the relationship between electric shocks and their effects on a human heart when he was a student at John Hopkins University School of Engineering, okay, and he is the person who first invented defibrillator, okay, and obviously it is not the way you are seeing it now, okay, so, but, he is credited as the first one okay who invented defibrillator but when we are talking about defibrillator we usually come across something this what is this guys aed yes automated external defibrillator which is handy and which is available everywhere not only in the hospital even outside the hospitals in the ambulance yes mm, and it can be used by the medical professionals as well as non-medical professionals easy to use it has pre-recorded instructions okay you just have to follow the instructions it will analyze the rhythm of the patient yes and it will give you instructions if it is shockable rhythm to deliver a shock if not then to continue with the cpr yes so this aed uh, was invented by dr frank pandridge okay he was a cardiologist and he's also considered to be as the father of emergency medicine he invented the first portable defibrillator okay which was powered by a car battery and it weighed initially when he created it it was around 70 kgs 154 pounds but later on you know he modified his uh, the initial version he modified it and then you know he created with the lesser weight and all and finally eventually now what you're seeing is very handy easy to carry less weight yes aed which is which can be used anywhere outside the hospital to to save the life of a patient okay so next time guys when you are using a defibrillator or an aed to save the life of a patient during uh, bls or acls 
please be thankful to these two guys william coven hoven and dr frank pandridge okay thank you so much then the next very important invention which is uh, you know very important uh, machine in emergency department as well as in the icus yeah and this machine was very useful and you know very popular it became very popular and famous uh, during the time of you know the pandemic covid 19 yes almost every patient was in need of the support of this machine yes to save the life so who is the inventor of ventilator who invented this machine as we all know that ventilator is a you know it's a breathing apparatus it's a class of medical technology that provides uh, mechanical ventilation to the patient it delivers the breaths to the patient who are physically unable to or who are suffering from breathing insufficiency yes so it is of great help to the patient who are not able to support their own breathing process okay with reduced level of consciousness yes at risk of aspiration so who is the one who invented it come on guys answer this is the fourth invention that we are discussing it is uh, forest morton bird okay he is he was an american aviator inventor and a biomedical engineer and he is best known for having created some of the first reliable mass produced mechanical ventilators for acute and chronic cardiopulmonary care okay the bird he introduced one green box which we became very famous those days the bird and uh, uh, it was the highly it was the first highly reliable and low cost mass produce medical respirators in the world that time okay and he studied uh, high altitude breathing problems of the world war 2 pilots and later uh, he created a medical device that can save the life and aided thousands of people with respiratory ailments okay so guys so he is the person behind the ventilator that you are seeing today okay it has got modified but yes he is the one who initially created it invented it forest morton bird okay or forest m bird so next time where you are intubating a patient and connecting him to the ventilator please be thankful to this guy forest m bird and uh, because because of his invention we are able to save the life of many patients with the help of ventilator okay the next invention that we are going to discuss is the last one that is who invented crash cart crash cart as we all know that you know crash cart which is also known as emergency trolley or emergency cart or coat cart yes which is uh, used during code blues yes whenever there is a medical emergency anywhere in the hospital code blue is announced and we run with the crash cart to save the life of a patient yes so it is a uh, crash cart it's a trolley yes it's a multi drawer multi shelf trolley which contains all the emergency equipments and supplies and the drugs to deal with the patient in a, a life threatening situation and to save the life of a patient so who is the person who invented this crash cart it's a very beautiful very important and awesome invention of emergency department yes and not only in the emergency department it is available in all the icus in ot's in cath lab yes at it is placed at uh, different places in the hospital so that it can be used during code blues yes so who is the one who invented it come on guys answer at least this one okay i am proud to say that this invention was done by an er nurse anita dor yes so being nursing professionals we have to be very proud that it is a nurse who invented this crash cart anita dor she was the supervisor of the emergency department wherein she noticed that you know it is uh, taking a lot of time for the nurses to gather the necessary equipment and supplies which they used to often stuff in their pockets during the emergency time when the patient is critical okay so it was taking a lot of time and we all know very well guys that you know in case of emergency situations uh, time is life yes if we lose time we'll lose the patient time is very crucial each and every minute counts okay and uh, uh, because of uh, you know the time was getting lost in gathering the equipments and the drugs so much time was getting wasted and they were losing the patient so what she did is uh, in consultation with her nursing staff she identified what all equipments and what all drugs that are required to handle a particular emergency situation and then with the help of her husband she created a wooden prototype uh, you know a trolley and painted it red bright red so that it can be easily identifiable and you know it can match with the you know red means like emergency yes okay so and she created 
crash card this was the crash card that she created okay it was not and then later it got modified of course okay but uh, she is the one who invented crash card it was like this initially when she created it okay so it's uh, anita dor an kia nurse okay who created it and not only that she served in army also okay she served in army anita dor she served she invented crash card uh, and uh, she served in the army during world war 2 and she is also a uh, co-founder of the emergency nurses association that is ena okay which is usually recognized globally now okay so this was the invention of the crash card so these are the five uh, incredible important inventions in the emergency department which are very crucial and you know which has uh, which helps the healthcare professionals to uh, to make early diagnosis and to prevent complication and treat, treat the patient properly and save the life okay so next time when you are using these machines guys please be thankful to these uh, inventors okay so hope this video was uh, helpful in gaining some knowledge regarding this incredible uh, inventions uh, okay and you know this knowledge will be helpful for you to prepare for some quiz also yes okay so if you find the content helpful if you like my uh, video please do subscribe and like and share my videos and please do comment okay thank you so much all your likes all your subscriptions all your um, you know comments are valuable to me okay and uh, you know thank you so much for all the support that i have received till now and i'm looking forward for more and more love and support from all of you guys thank you so much